Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So as you know from my last video, I went to the Naturalista hair show. I also went to the Ubiquitous hair show, so check out that video as well. But here is where I do the haul and show you everything that I got. <laughs> so I got this TGIN Triple Moisture Replenishing Conditioner. So I really wanted to get the DC, even though it has silicones, because I used the DC just before I get my hair blown out for my trim, so I was going to go and grab that since everything was like $12, but they were out of the DC, so I decided to get this. These are the ingredients. So I finally found Elodia, and I was able to say hi to the owner, she's really sweet and everything, so that was really nice. This is the deep conditioner. It has like honey and silk amino acid. Has some essential oils like basil oil and so on. These are the ingredients. Overall, it's a nice formulation. So even though it has that polyquad, I'm still kind of interested in trying it. It's kind of low down. I'm gonna give it a go. Then we have this um, nourished hair cream. So the ingredients are actually pretty similar to the deep conditioner. Probably just different concentrations of each. And the last thing I got from her is this cream gel. It goes water than honey, which is really interesting. These are the ingredients. It has pectin and xanthan gum, which I like. And then aloe vera juice, which is good. I'm not a fan of the EDTA, not a fan of the carbama. And this doesn't have the essential oils at the bottom. So maybe she thought we didn't need to tingle all the way through. Because when you open a deep conditioner, you definitely smell the peppermint and stuff. So the last things I got was from this company called Free Naturals. So the stuff was really expensive, it wasn't on sale, but the ingredients were so interesting I decided to try it out. Her customer service is even kind of poor at the end, but since I already kind of had everything in my hand and I was curious, I decided to kind of go through it and get it. But unless her stuff is super amazing, like small businesses, customer service is super important. PSA. So let me just get into what I got from her and then I'll tell you what happened. So I got this hair milk. So it comes in a spritz, but it sprays out like a light cream. So that will be interesting to try. I'm not sure what my kind of wiry texture is gonna do with that, because my hair is kind of stiff and wiry, but I'm willing to try it. <laughs> These are the ingredients. And then I got this deep conditioner, really tiny deep conditioner. Bamboo, fig, and lotus flower were the like main points of this deep conditioner. So the lotus flower one stuff is like at the bottom of the ingredients. The conditioner is interesting, it's kind of whipped and kind of light. So I'll definitely try it out and give you a review. I got this conditioner bar. The conditioner bar was super interesting because I'm like, this is not a shampoo bar, it's actually a conditioner bar. So somehow this bar is supposed to condition my hair. Somehow, like I highly doubt that she managed to make this soap bar pH balance. So I said I'm gonna like test it, like I have pH strips, so I'm gonna test it. And when I'm doing my review, I'm gonna include a mention of that. So We'll see what happens with that. <laughs> she told me that she didn't have the packaging for this. She just gave it to me like this and then she gave me like a label loose. So between giving me the parts of the product in my hand and me buying three things, I just asked her, well, so would you do a discount for all of this? And she was like, no, like you rude cheap heifer, why are you asking me for a discount? So I'm like, if you give me my product in pieces and you won't even give me a discount, or at the very least apologize that you couldn't give me a discount, I just thought it was really rude and the customer service is really poor. And that reminds me of another small business, Product Junkie Naturals. I guess maybe you saw on Instagram that I ordered from them, the package was leaky, and she sent me a half full bottle to replace the one that leaked, like it was literally half. And then she had the nerve to tell me when I asked her about it that that was full to the right amount. So why would you expect to sell a bottle that's half full? What kind of packaging strategy is that? So in other words, she was just being petty and cheap, so she decided to send me a half full bottle to replace the one that leaked because I don't need that much, it was probably just a small leak. So in both cases, having people product in pieces and then if something leaks, you just give them the amount that's still basically. It's just petty and short-sighted because you're gonna lose the customer, you're gonna probably lose more customers so people are gonna tell other people about it. And it's just not the way to grow your business. So. Warning to small companies, don't be like Tree Naturals, don't be like Product Junkie Naturals. So I don't even have the label to show you because it like fell out somewhere, it's probably in my car somewhere. So yeah, I'm just kind of annoyed with her, but I guess 
I should be annoying myself. So probably should have just dropped everything at that point and not bought it. It was just because I was curious and I was like almost at a checkout and decided to just, okay, let me just, you know, finish it off and buy it. So anyhow, I just got six, uh, three things from two people and one thing. So it's not super damaged. It's not a lot, I guess. But it is something, definitely. Supporting small business, I guess. Black owned, woman owned, black woman owned. So that's good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.